Okay, guys, welcome to Desert Goat, the goat with the most. Um, I would finish up my saying, but I won't. Um, Jack just put on his shirt. Wonderful meeting, guys. It was a very sorry, ma'am. It was a very informative. Uh, I would like to thank all the ones that came out to um, support the young man that was um, beaten by the Shirts Police Department. They did an excellent job at voicing their opinion. All of that stuff. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I will post the video up. The council had a blank look on their face. Obviously, they don't care. We are in America. This is 2020. We all should be treated the same. I mean, skin color does not matter, guys. We all are human. And here we are having a group yeah. video, yeah. Uh, not video, but a picture of Jack. Oh my gosh, guys, he's taking off his shirt. Don't tase me. Don't tase me, bro. Oh, now see, guys, this is what I like to see. So, you guys see me here. Thank you all for coming. Thank you guys for coming to the um, Reliable Revolutionary Shirts event. Oh, hey, I wanted to tell you guys, I have, I have all the videos. And Josie, I was on time today. No, I, had it. I have all the videos. A good day, ma'am. I will give it to you. I got all the videos. Oh, okay. Hey, we are, we will be um, having our next membership drive here again next Tuesday at 6 p.m. We're going to have our membership drive as well as the people's words. Um, we have our new headquarters location. Okay, so we're just going to keep holding our um, our membership meetings here. Thank you guys. Hey, Megan, Megan was driving seven miles over the speed limit five minutes prior. To try to make that stop. She was speeding. Another officer, this is according to his camera. I got all the data. Was doing 75 miles an hour down FM 78. So, let's see if I can get a um, no passing on a curve. Interview here, guys. Get over the traffic stop. All a violation of policy and it's reckless driving. It's a violation of law. Just want to let y'all know. These are the things I'm covering. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm, I'm here with Jack and all that. Uh, yeah, I agree with you guys completely. And just to make sure I'm static recording. I'm, tr I'm trying to get everybody's thoughts and opinions on how corrupt they are. This house is corrupt because... Um, I had moved back to my dad's house uh, maybe about two months after they had raided the house. Um, and I was told about everything that they did, everything that they yeah. said, the false police report. And at that time, we didn't, we didn't know it was false. Yeah. You know, we really realized, kind of thought that it was coming from um, our neighbors who were racist. Uh. So it's just been a lot. And I don't think it's going to get them any better. No matter how much we come, they don't care. No. So well, it, because of that incident, that's why I'm here. Yeah. So that's why I, I just told everybody to follow him because he seeks the real and I love it. And I well, thank you. You're welcome. Well, just to let you know, I mean, when I, I've even got arrested for um, SAPD's nonsense on doing the same thing to an individual yes. on violating rights and I ended up getting arrested. Yeah. So they're just corrupt all the way around. So that's, I can't say, and I tell everyone this, even my kids, not all officers are bad, but you can't ever decipher which, which one, one is it. Yeah. So you have to conduct yourself. Well, I love it, baby. In that manner, you know. Yes. So, and it sucks that we have to tell our kids that, like, we we literally have to grow. Oh, all right. I'm leaving right now. Good day, ma'am. Thank you. You have a welcome. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you just heard from the sister of the young man that got arrested by the Shirts Police Department. Uh, the police uh, chief was texting and left, caught on camera. And we are uh, 
So yeah, we're gonna definitely film them all. A uh, go out. Please sub, like sub to everybody. Go out.